What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, I want to have a conversation about two people in today's topic, Mrs. Vicki White, or Miss Vicki White, who is a correctional officer in an Alabama state uh, institution or a prison. Allegedly, she is on the run with Mr. Casey White, no relation, um, as he has escaped out of prison. Okay. And she has been a correctional officer for quite some time. She is 58 years old. The gentleman, Mr. Casey White, is 38 years old. So 20 years um, her junior. Nevertheless, Mr. White, who is also Caucasian, um, got a little bit of game in Vicky's ear. Now, imagine Vicky had been in this institution for such a long time, dealing with all of these inmates and stuff. And, uh, you know, apparently this was her last day retiring. But on her last day retiring, she and Mr. Caucasian Pookie brother over here decided that they were going to risk it all. And she is going on the run for a man who has a rap sheet longer than anybody else in the black community. All right. Now he has two counts of capital murder. All right. Already was in jail for a 2015 home invasion, carjacking and a police chase. I mean, he's just crazy, but somehow he's gotten into the ear of Ms. Vicky White to go ahead and help him escape. Now he's an idiot. He's six foot nine, 260 pounds, looking like he should be playing a starting power four for the Lakers. His tall ass is definitely gonna get caught. But who else is gonna get caught? Her. So you're gonna retire in prison with a felony because you helped this idiot escape. All your life that you work for to achieve this is gonna be gone with this fool. And we wonder why people do these things. Like, why would a woman like her risk all of the rest of her life, she's worked hard all her life, to deal with somebody like this? And you know what, guys? It's just not black women who do stuff like this. Like, I know guys look at, you know, black women like gangsters, black women like thugs, and all of those things. Listen, guys, do you know how much many letters murderers get? Like, Charles Manson, how many women wanted to marry him? It's, it's, a, it's, it's a psychotic thing. These guys who are in there in life in prison, these women are, there are certain women that send them pictures. Um, in certain aspects, send them nudes. Okay. Some women are just attracted to the wrong guy. And no matter what her degree is in, no matter what her uh, skill set is, you, you know, you, you, you look at these people and you think that, oh, they shouldn't be able to be like that. Or, or, or she's a police officer. She's a doctor. She's a lawyer. Man, but well, let me tell you this. The game is strong, family. Okay. If any man can get into any any woman in her ear and, 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 and hit some sensation points in her mind, a woman will do anything for a man that she loves at the risk of her own demise and we all know that he don't give a damn about her she's just a mean sin in but the reality is that when these ladies and i'm pretty sure she's had the opportunity to get married to somebody who will be there for her, somebody who will do something nice for her even at her older age it's quite possible she could settle down with an older gentleman she don't want to do that she wants to deal with this guy and as soon as you guys know when they catch her what is she going to be doing she gonna be playing the goddamn victim, crying, sad music. Oh my God, I was scared for my life. I didn't know what to do. He threatened me. No, they gonna take your ass to jail like everybody else, boo. And when you get to that prison uh, system with the rest of those females, they're gonna whoop your ass because you used to be a correctional officer. So now think about that when you in when you in your retirement, getting your ass whooped like you stole something. <clears throat> think about that. Right. Now, guys, what, what do I want to talk about in this in this instance? Okay, I want to kind of make it a plane. 
there are going to be some ladies that are going to do this kind of stuff no matter what they look like i've seen women do it all the time for family there was one lady i think i had a story about you know there's a bank of america in inglewood um and my brother was telling me about this lady beautiful lady fine she had went to cal state northridge finance she was an excellent worker they wanted to bring her into the bank management, into things like that. And then, you know, had an opportunity with the with the subsidiary Merrill Lynch. But what happened, family? I'm going to tell you what happened with her. She ended up with a Pookie and a Ray Ray. Okay? No car. Okay? Nothing that, none of that. She was dusty. The dude was dusty. Completely dusty. Stupid dusty. Dude got all kind of drugs. They kick it in the door of her house all the time. Now, luckily, she never got arrested. But going around here, you know, going to prison, come to find out she going to prison, visits other girls coming to prison, visits the same time. He's cheating on her. Got other chicks sending him stuff. Okay? Just destroying her entire quality of life being re... I can't say that word. as YouTube. Being stupid. I'll say that. All right? And guess what? My brother couldn't understand how can a woman like that deal with a man like that? Guess what? If that's what they want to do, let them do it. I try to figure that shit out too. Like, how can you do this when you're so beautiful? How can you do this when you're so fine? Like, you should really be with a guy like me. No, let me tell you this. You should be with a dude just like that. Okay? You want to throw away your life? and throw away what you worked for, for that type of clown, be my guest. And let me tell you guys this, it is so many women in the world that don't want a guy like that, that you ain't gonna be worried about it. And see, guys wanna always attribute this to being a black thing. No, all kind of pookies and ray rays in any communities, they get a lot of good girls. The Italian mafia guys, who do you think their wives were? Their wives wasn't no, you know, women out there just, you know, shooting at the block. A lot of those Italian wives, they, they were uh, girls, ladies going to Catholic church and, and, and participating in the community in baking cookies and being housewives and stuff. And and and, 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 and they knew their husbands was with, with, with the mob and doing what they was doing. It's just not a black thing. But what you pick, you deserve. Don't try to come back after you've been dealing with a Pookie and Ray Ray and you didn't mess your life up and then want a regular guy to come save you. And some of these ladies that are correctional officers that do this, they're married to good guys. So you're probably in here sleeping with the inmate and you're married to a husband at home who loves you. And this is what you're doing. And I tell you, like, if I don't, if this don't happen, I'm not black. She gonna blame everything on this dude in Alabama not trying to hear that shit at all. Not trying to hear it. I'm not trying to hear it. I'm just not. You wanted that dude, okay? And when they catch him, because he's only going to be out for like 30, 40 days, you didn't throw away your life for him to be free for 30, 40 days. If he wanted to be free, he shouldn't have been kicking in the door or stabbing people. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Or you put your for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. I'm out.